Use the jointer to smooth the edges and faces of material and to cut bevels and chamfers. The parts of the jointer are the front or infeed table, the table adjusting wheel, the power switch, the base and motor, the cutter head, the cutter guard, the rear or outfeed table, and the fence. To use the jointer, begin with the power disconnected. Using a small square, adjust the fence so that it forms a 90 degree angle with the table. Once the fence is square with the table, lock the fence into place. Align the outfeed table so it is exactly level with the edges of the cutting knives. Once the outfeed table is accurately set, do not change the adjustment. Adjust the infeed table to control the depth of cut. Generally, the depth of cut for softwood is one sixteenth of an inch to one eighth of an inch. The cut for hardwood should be set at only one thirty second of an inch to one sixteenth of an inch. To joint the edge, place the edge of the material on the infeed table and the face of the material against the fence. Hold the material flat against the fence. With downward pressure against the table, guide the material through the cutter head area. Once the front of the material is past the cutter head, lift your left hand around the cutter head area and re-grasp the material. As the end of the material passes over the cutter head and before your right hand passes over the cutter head, Lift your right hand around the cutter head and re-grasp the material to finish the cut. This procedure prevents your hands from passing over the cutter head. Be sure the guard returns and covers the cutter head. Surfacing the face of the material always requires the use of a push block. Push the stock through the cutting area so that the knives cut with the grain. This will reduce the amount of chipping on the surface of the material for a smoother cut. If the board is warped, place the cupped side down on the infeed table to keep at least two points in contact with the table. Continue making passes through the jointer until the entire surface has been planed. Once the surface of the board has been planed, continue to joint the opposite edge and then plane the other surface. Stop the video now and refer to the practice exercises in your workbook.